Hello, welcome back to The Deli Diaries. Crystal here and today I'm so, so excited because we are going to be playing with a bunch of new makeup that I got from Artitude Cosmetics, which is a UK indie brand. I've been wanting to try their makeup for quite some time now and during Black Friday they had a really good deal going, so it was time to bite the bullet and that is what I did. <laughs> so welcome. Uh, if you are new, thank you for being here. I'm glad you found me. And if you are a returning friend, Ah, oh, where have you been? I've missed you. Uh, so we have got in front of me today the Man Eater eyeshadow palette, which I love the packaging. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? So cool. It's got the little claw marks on the back. Oh, love it. It also came in this beautiful sleeve that has the claw marks on the cover as well. So beautiful. Inside is even more beautiful. It's a nice colorful eyeshadow palette. And it has, let's see what it says here. 20 gorgeous eyeshadows, five unique textures, 10 buttery, easy to blend mattes, four gorgeous reflective shimmers, three high def foils, two soft multi multi-chromes with a subtle color shift and one luxurious iridescent, why can't I speak today? Iridescent shimmer. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love the little explainer that came with it as well. So. It, basically gives a full rundown about this palette which i love about i guess feminine power and fighting against the patriarchy which you know we do have ways to go there so yeah really excited to have this in my collection so we're going to put a look together with that but also i'm super pumped because i have this split it painter's paradise palette as well i've been wanting to get a Kate Kleiner palette for a while and this one just looked really cool and they had a deal going <laughs> if I could get it open they had a deal going where it came with three eye liner brushes as well so we will use at least one of those today but look at the beautiful colors in here so there's some pastels there's obviously more vibrant colors there's metallics and is that it oh UV neons hello good for good for festivals and two duo chromes. Yeah, so this is gonna be a lot of fun to play with. You just add water and then get your liner on. And that's not everything. I also have picked up two of their multi-chrome pressed highlighters. One of those in transition, which it feels super smooth as well. So transition, oh, that's so cool. It's like a gold to orange to green. Oh, and you're seeing a little bit of kind of blue there on the camera. But I am seeing green here, like a beautiful kind of jungle green. Okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> and the other shade of the pressed highlighter was Dimension. I <laughs> like which one is it? This one here. Oh, look at that. It's got a beautiful pinky violet look to it. Oh, that's so nice. They're both beautiful and I'm so excited to get one of those on my face today. So, oh, and also I have to say that Attitude very kindly threw in two pairs of lashes. And I've already trimmed these ones up because my eyes are small <laughs> and these were like epically long. So I've already trimmed some up. So we might try those. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Cool. So that is everything that we're going to be banging on today. And yeah, if you're excited for it, then let's dive in. So we're definitely going to do something bright and colorful with this palette because how can you not? I mean, look at it. <laughs> um, I think I want to use this pink shade for show and perhaps this man eater shade and just a spoiler alert i actually got this in the mail yesterday and i was all set up and ready to film a video and our power went out and proceeded to be out for 12 hours <laughs> so i did not get to film yesterday but i did use that man eater shade because i just couldn't i couldn't wait okay i'm sorry i couldn't resist and it looked incredible so I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna do the same look that I did yesterday, but yeah, let's dive in. Where does one want to start? I think this is gonna be quite dramatic today. Luckily, I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> so it doesn't matter if I look a bit extreme for a weekday morning. All right, you know what, it's getting serious. I'm getting warm, taking my, <laughs> taking my cardio off. All right, ready? Let's get in. 
All right, I'm gonna dive straight in with, I think this shade here called Feline. And I'm just gonna use my Sigma E25 Max Blending Brush to apply it. Oh, lovely. And I'm gonna take that up quite high. Good transition shade. Yeah, we've been having crazy weather in these parts over the last week. So last Friday, it was absolutely boiling hot. Overcast, but boiling. And then the next day, we had crazy storms and it was freezing again. <laughs> uh, crazy thunder, crazy wind, crazy lightning. And it's been going on for the last few days. Like we just had another storm just now, but now the sun's come out. It is so bizarre. And they say climate change isn't a thing. <laughs> so yeah, mad weather. Don't be surprised if some thunder and lightning happens. But so yeah, because of all of that, our power went out. I tell you what, it really makes you appreciate electricity and how lucky we are and how easy we have it generally you know being able to just flick a switch and light happens <laughs> so lucky okay now i want to go in with the black shade called wanted <laughs> i very rarely use black eyeshadow so <laughs> this could this could get very messy i'm tapping it off <laughs> i'm a little scared to be honest Hmm. Okay. This seems like a really good black to work with. Like there's pigment, but it's buildable and barely a speck of fallout either. Hmm. Okay. That's a very approachable black. I like that a lot. So I had a video that I put up a little while ago, <laughs> know, like a week ago, a week or two ago. And it was my favorite eyeshadow palettes for the year. And that video went nuts. <laughs> and I got a whole bunch of new family members, new subscribers. So if you're one of those people, I'm so glad that you found me via that video. It's really cool. It just, oh my gosh, it just made me so excited to to see all these people being reached that hadn't seen my videos before. Very cool. And if I could replicate what I did with that video, then I would do it again. <laughs> By the way, I'm just using a little Odin's eye brush for this. I love this brush so much from the mystery box. And speaking of mystery boxes, I've ordered a mystery, large mystery thingy from Lethal Cosmetics, who I've never tried, but I have to give a shout out to Sue Hori because she let me know that uh, there was a really good deal going with Lethal Cosmetics and postage shipping. So thank you so much. You're a legend. Honestly, you guys are the absolute best. <laughs> Just going to take a Sigma Precision Firm Blender Brush and I want to obviously blend that black a little. But like I said, this is going <laughs> to be a big one today, this look, I think. Probably not one you're gonna break out for work unless you work somewhere really cool. I work in a radio station and so that's cool because I can do what I want with my face and no one really cares. So sometimes I wear no makeup and sometimes I wear like insane makeup. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I don't have any fallout. Blacks terrify me because of the fallout situation and I'm someone who, I always do my eyeshadow after my foundation. I just like doing it in that order, even though then you obviously risk having to clean up fallout, which can be a bit annoying. But to be fair, I don't really have a lot of eyeshadows that give me fallout. So I tend to avoid them. <laughs> so yeah, we're supposed to be in summer here and it's certainly not feeling summery. <laughs> All right, I might just zoom you in a little. So now that I've softened that out, I'm just gonna go back in, same brush, same shade the black there because I want to make it a bit more intense on the lid because I'm going to put color over the top of it still no fallout love it <laughs> I'm 
so excited at the moment with all I've just got like because I ordered a bunch of stuff in the Black Friday sales and because I'm obviously in Australia it takes a long time for things to get to me so I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's still coming and I'm just I um, cannot wait to get it and play with it and make videos with it currently I just look like I've been punched in both eyes but don't worry we have a plan <laughs> This is a really good black formula. I really, I really like this matte black. I think it's very approachable. Now that I've laid that black base down, I really need to buy a new brush switch. This one is absolutely dying. God, it works so well though, man. Like, no black left on that brush. Incredible. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Billy Bowie's in the house. My caboodle. He likes to be in here when I film. Do I want to use a glitter primer? I will say I did not use a glitter primer yesterday and the eyeshadows looked incredible and they stayed on my lid without any fading mint formula. So I am going to try one today just because, I don't know, just because I want to see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the Barium Glitter Fix Gel. But yeah, from my experience yesterday, you don't need it. The colours are super vibrant as is and... I, again, I didn't have fallout, which is so impressive. So I'm going to try this brush and just see how it goes with the metallic formula. And we are going to use one of the most beautiful golds I've ever seen in my life. This is Bengal. You know what? I'll put some swatches in this video as well so you can see how all these colors look. But just for now, uh, this bad boy. And I'm just using a little tart brush. I'm not sure if this will work. This particular brush. I'm gonna use my finger though. <laughs> I just like my finger. I look like a beautiful bumblebee. These metallic shades, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. I didn't actually mean to come over that far with it, but I have small eyelid space and so often things get a bit out of hand. <laughs> I'm so jealous of anyone who has good lid real estate. <laughs> but we we'll work with what we've got. Oh, wow, these foils are spectacular. I'm obsessed with that shade. <laughs> now we're going in with the stunning pink shade, which is called Predator. Look at this beautiful pink. Oh. All right, and I am gonna try the brush. <laughs> wow. Just reverting to my finger because that's how I like to do things. <laughs> I know it all looks a bit messy at the moment, but don't worry, we will sort it out. But that is beautiful. I really like the formula of these. So the consistency of the shadow is quite s well, a little bit squishy, a little bit puttyish, but not to the extent where it's just destroyed when you touch it. And the color without the black underneath is a lot more hot pink but with the black underneath you're seeing it a little bit of a purple tinge to it which is really nice as well so i'm gonna just skip to under the eye and then we'll come back and tweak things but i think under the eye i want to go with that man eater shade this beautiful one here so i might lay down a bit of a matte underneath that. I think I'll take this shade here, Nocturnal. It's gonna be so dramatic. All right, now let's go in with the man eater. Okay, best way to do this is I'm gonna take this smaller brush and I'm actually wanting to dampen that shade before I apply it to my eye. And I haven't laid down a glitter primer here, so I could be asking for trouble. <laughs> it's 
sounds like me. I'm asking for trouble. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Looking forward to swatching this for you. Well, there's a pretty pale blue here. Well, sky blue, really, as well, which I think I'm going to chuck on. It's called Free. Oh, wow. Well. <sighs> Beautiful. Holy heck, guys. This might be my new favorite eyeshadow brand. Spectacular. Okay, now I want to clean up the top before I go in with inner corner highlight. I might go back in with that pinky shade that I used earlier. Taking my Sigma Precision Firm Blender brush for that. This could be a New Year's party look. Except I'm probably just going camping for New Year's. <laughs> so... Uh, might be a bit much for the caravan park. <laughs> it's very little fallout considering the boldness and vibrance of the shades I've used and also the fact that I've used a matte black. I mean, that's it's impressive. Uh, so for this little portion of my eye, I'm going to go in with the shade Tiger, which is this bad boy here. All right, and I'm taking a little flat packing brush. I just wanted to bring that out here a bit. So far, like everything about this palette. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. I could be here all day just like tweaking, but you don't have time for that. And neither do I. <laughs> I've got to get my boy out for a stroll in between storms. Now I want to go in with the inner corner highlight and I think it's going to have to be this iridescent shade here called Untamed. Nice. Okay. And I want to use my little refer pencil brush again, the 03 and this time I'm using damp eyeshadow. Wow. This is crazy good. It's so cool. <laughs> so extra, but so good. I think I might have to do more looks with this palette. So much scope to do so many different looks. Feels like it would be a bit of a waste just to do the the one vid. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested to see more looks with this palette. Please say yes. Because <laughs> I really want to do it. Alright, this is where we're at so far. Now. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to get into some liner. We're going to pull out that awesome split liner palette. Let's see what we can see. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the black first. We'll try one of these brushes. I've never had a brush with that much like length on it. I guess I could give it a go. But actually I think I want to use one of the fine liners. So we've got these as well. So these came in the bundle. One's obviously a bit thicker. Uh, all right, we're gonna try this. Yeah, we're gonna try this thicker one. So basically you wet your brush, dip it in, swirl it around until you get a, well you could do it on a mixing palette as well, but I don't have one. So <laughs> we're doing it on, in the palette. And that seems to be working just fine. Gonna have a bit more water. Okay, so I've only brought the black this far in because I want to try one of the other ones, I think, in the inner third. Getting super creative. I haven't done a really super bold colored look for a while, guys. Bit of fun. 
Aw, hi, Billy Bowie. Are you going to get on camera today? Probably not. He hates being on camera. So annoying. I was planning on, you know, making him YouTube famous. Making him earn his keep. <laughs> Just kidding. He earns his keep in love. Oh, the love. Hey, Papa. Okay, well, that line is working a treat. Now, let's try something in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Something contrasting. Mm, I could go for a silver. I think I want to try mm, maybe this one. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Billy Bowie is in the house. <laughs> Can't lick off all my makeup, baby. I love you too. Isn't he adorable? He hasn't said hi for a while, so. <laughs> oh, look at that face. All right. Oh, you smell like, you smell like fish. <laughs> Maybe you finally ate your breakfast. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, Bills. I know you're camera shy. Right, let's get back to the eyeliner. Brief intermission for puppy. There's always time for a puppy intermission. Am I right? Let's try one of these other split liners. This is so fun. I really like this eyeliner palette. Might need to use a different brush because I need to clean this one. So what I might try, because I never use these brushes, I might try this brush. Here we go. Let's give it a go. So I guess you kind of want like a soy sauce consistency. <laughs> I don't know. I probably should wait for it to dry, like wait for the black to dry before I go over it. Otherwise it might not work. Let's see if we stamp this on. Oh yeah. I'm thrilled to have this in my collection. Has anyone tried those um, cake liners from Glisten Cosmetics? If you have, I would love to know your thoughts because I've been so tempted to try those so many times. <laughs> I put them in my basket and then they never quite make the cut. This is always something more important to buy. Oh, that's really pretty. It basically, you know, kind of matches the man-eater shade in the eyeshadow. That looks really good. Holy heck. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, now I'm just going to pop some eyeliner in my waterline, which I, I haven't looked into it, but I'm assuming I can't use these in my waterline. Maybe I'll use the Give eyeliner. Okay, let's do it. Got a beautiful, colourful patchwork on my eyes today. I'm just going to put some mascara on and I'll think about lashes, not sure. We'll see. I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back with mascara on and I figure since they gifted me these lashes, must have been a gift with purchase situation, I am going to try them out. I do have a Silly George lash... What do they call it? Lash bond glue here somewhere. I don't know if this works on lashes that aren't Silly George lashes, but I didn't like the Silly George lashes that I bought. I hardly ever, 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 ever do false lashes. So if you're new here, this is not something I do. Just because I just prefer how my eyes look with just mascara. I think sometimes lashes just make my eyes look smaller than they are. But we'll see. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. You just apply like so this is the clear one but yeah i don't know if this is gonna work uh, maybe it does work with rego lashes uh, the reason i didn't like the silly george ones i got were they were supposed to be like very natural ones and honestly they weren't <laughs> So obviously we have very different ideas about what looks natural and what doesn't. But they look quite nice. Mm, don't mind them. All right. Well, let's put the other one on because it's weird without. I do feel like it's lifting the liner a little. Let's just see. That lash went on way too easily. That's not normal. So this one's probably going to be a bit of a disaster. There's always 
is one. All right. These lashes are, are not bad at all, actually, because I, I don't like heavy lashes. These are, they're giving me volume. They're not giving me length. I probably need to restick that corner, but to be honest, I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind those. What's the name of them? Princess. All right, let me put blush on and then we'll try the multi-chrome highlighter. I might go with a pinky-ish shade just because I want to try the pinkier highlighter, I think. Oh, I don't have the wrong brush. This is the Sigma Chisel Cheek Brush. I never, I always use a stippling brush to apply this, but I'm using my Danessa Myrick's Dewy Lip and Cheek Palette. Ooh, it's intense with this one. <laughs> this is why I use a stippling brush normally, because it's, uh, it's going on very heavily, whereas the stippling brush, it's nice and light. This palette was in my yearly, <laughs> yearly favorites video. If you haven't watched that yet, I recommend it. If you would like to know what I've been using this year, a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. I love it. Again, would normally use this brush with it, but it's the one I had in front of me. So there we go. Now let's get into the good stuff. Let's try one of these beautiful highlighters. We're gonna use this one, Dimension. Mm, yep. And I'm actually waiting on a Sigma order, which we'll have, I'm very excited to fly a fan brush. I've never had a decent fan brush. I've only ever bought cheapy ones and they were crap and they didn't. Not that you can't get good things that are cheap, but the ones I've bought weren't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this Refa and see how we go. Refa 16. Pretty. Wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. And there's no glitter in it. Oh, I need to stick that lash down. We'll just take them off, which is what I usually do. Just can't be bothered. I'm definitely a low maintenance girl, believe it or not, with this 17 layers of makeup on my face. <laughs> That's really cool. I love this. I'm going to fix this lash, put some lips on it, and then we'll come back and talk about everything that we've used today. I'm back with lips on and I decided to go with my Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Soft Matte Lip Color in Blush, which is one of my favorites. I think it's really beautiful and I think it complements everything really well. So that is the finished look. What do we think? Yeah? Mm, I think it's very pretty. There's just, there's a lot going on and I like it. <laughs> One last zoom in for you. Okay. Complete, completed look. All right, uh, actually, before I sum everything up, I'm just gonna slot some swatches in right here. So you've seen the gorgeous swatches from the beautiful Man Eater palette and I think this is a stunner. I love the quality of this eyeshadow palette. I think the mattes performed beautifully. They have a really nice level of buildability and blendability but still with great pigment there but it allows you to work with them and create a look that you really want to do without being overwhelmed by the pigment but stunning. The Oh my gosh, the metallic formula is so 
good. <laughs> it is so good. It might be my new favorite. I'm so impressed with this eyeshadow formula. I think it looks amazing and I think it's so, so well done. I am definitely, definitely going to be getting more things from Artitude Cosmetics. So impressed. So impressed. Now, uh, with the split liner palette, this gorgeous thing here, I love it. I'm so excited to have this in my collection because if you've been here before, you know I love a colorful eyeliner and I like to sometimes use three or four eyeliners in one look. So this is my idea of a good time. <laughs> um, it's performed beautifully and I love the color range. I'm just really excited to keep playing with that. The brushes worked perfectly with it as well. I love this highlighter. This looks amazing. I am really excited to use the other highlighter as well, the more golden shade. I think that's going to be just as incredible. And the lashes I actually really like as well, and I don't like false lashes very often at all. I am super picky because of the eye shape that I have. I... I think the princess lashes are great. So I am so, so, so impressed with everything that I've used today from Artitude Cosmetics and I am thrilled to be on the bandwagon and ready to support them going forward. I might have to pick up their newest palette as well. So two thumbs up from me. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that before you go. I have so many fun things coming up that I'm actually getting really inspired about. So I'm looking forward to bringing those to you. Please leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. It all means the world to me. And once again, I'm so thrilled to have everyone new that subscribed recently. I'm so glad you found me and that you're here. And also big love to my OGs, my regulars that have been with me from very early days. You are the best. Love you guys. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye.